Hello, welcome to this uh, unboxing of the Vietnam era military issue first aid kit. I peeked inside. It does look like it's to date. Um, there's some information on the bottom here. I doubt you'll be able to really see it. It says case medical instrument supply set. Plastic rigid size A. Frass Survival Systems Incorporated, Bronx, New York. And when I bought it, they said it was everything inside was original. Uh, you know, with first aid kits, a lot of people will go through and take out a couple of things here and there. Um, especially with survival kits, if they have like amphetamines or morphine or something. But this is just a general purpose first aid kit, so I wouldn't be surprised if it does have all original stuff. So let's take a look. The little class work. There's a ring of rubber around here that kind of helps it stay waterproof. And first thing is on the back there is a list of contents. I'm going to go through and see if we're missing much. But, I mean, first things first is the information. It says, keep calm, take action, key points to remember. Bleeding direct pressure, first pressure points, tourniquet, last resort. That's different nowadays. Nowadays, a lot of it is if, if direct pressure doesn't work, or if you gotta move quick, you go right to tourniquet. When in doubt, always treat as worst possible injury. Remember, contact a doctor. There's nothing on the back, so I'll just set that down here. Here's an instructional kit on artificial res uh, respiration, mouth to mouth or mouth to nose, rescue breathing. Look at that. For a safe future. Safety now. U.S. Department of Agriculture. First aid guide for USDA employees. That's pretty cool. Issued October 1962. Slightly revised September 1963. So that puts us in the time period that I was thinking. Uh, big ol' index of different injuries. They've got drawings. It's in really good condition. There's no damage. It's just slightly warped frostbite heat exhaustion strains bruises blisters and with infections medical emergencies appendicitis hernia this is all these drawings are phenomenal i love these old kind of drawings heat injuries poison sumac that's so that's really cool just some more information i love just how old that style is. Okay, next up. It's still sealed. There's a dotted line that you tear. First aid kit, eye dressing. iPads, uh, four iPads camouflage, sterile. Eight, it's very reflective even to me. Uh, eight, eight adhesive tape strips. Two tubes of op ophthalmic ointment. Expiration date, 1990. <laughs> Ends by Frass Survival Systems as well. We go there. It is in French. You can see the the ointment right here. Looks like super glue. That's really cool. I'm gonna see if I can see anything else on it. For the relief of minor irritations of the eye, raise eyelids and apply to irritated surface two or three times daily. Store at room temperature. Keep out of reach children. Cool. Let's see. Next up, got a bandage. Maybe. <laughs> it's all tangled up, but yeah. Bandage with the gauze attached to it? I don't... I haven't seen that before, but yeah, there we go. Oh, here we go. There, these, This one's open, as you can see. Plastic strip, sterile. American White Cross Lab. So those are pretty pretty old. They're all yellowed up. All right, now we're getting into these kind of cool... I don't know, I think the, the cooler stuff. This is the general stuff right here. That's cool. Uh, five Diane stainless steel hair shaper blades. Longer lasting cut, faster. Preferred by leading beauticians. Let's see. Thinner than I thought. Oh yeah, they're just 
straight up. Super stainless steel. I don't know if you can see that, but... That's great. Okay, that's super cool. Let me throw this back in. It's still sealed, so I'm not going to open it. It looks like uh, surgical tape. I'm not going to be able to fit this back in. Not, not until after. So let's see. Anything sealed, I probably won't open. We'll see. Sterility guaranteed. Unless package is opened or damaged. I mean... Compress and bandage. Camouflage 2 by 2 inches. Um, yeah, Alright, so... Little bandages. Oh, and the more instructions on how to do that. I saw this thing. Let's see, does that say? It's pharmidine. Oh, it's povidone iodine. 10% antiseptic solution. I'm sure you guys could see that before I could. Well, oh, that's pretty cool. Never been opened. Bandage gauze com compressed and camouflage. 3 inches by 6 yards, type 2, class 2, size E. Sterile, of course. Here's some more tape. More bandages, same as the last one. I see a safety pin. Oh yeah, there we go. Bandage, muslin, compressed, camouflage 37 by 37 by 52, uh, one each, and it's got the safety pin. It's a triangular bandage, so you can use it for a whole bunch of things, especially when you have those safety pins. Those safety pins can also be used for other things. This looks cool. <laughs> ammonia inhalants. Alcohol 35%, ammonia 15% for inhalation only to prevent or treat fainting. Crush inhalant between fingers. Hold two nostrils. When too weak, use another inhalant. Do not use if face, face is flushed. Oh, come on. The focus really doesn't like it. Little, they're kind of falling apart. Probably not going to try to... I doubt it would work. I'm not going to try it. Okay, next up we've got these three. It's too dark for me to read at that angle. <laughs> they're dressings. Camouflaged individual troop, four by seven. Okay, so they're they're compressed. Follow enclosed instructions. So we got instructions in there. Three sets of camouflage bandages. It's really good. You don't want to stand out, especially you know if you are in Vietnam or any war. And this is sterile product. Something's leaked on it or something. Oh, it's petrolatum gods. So it's, yeah, it's petroleum goss. I haven't heard it called petrolatum before, but yeah, 3 by 36 These would be super useful, especially if you have like a chest wound or something that needs to be sealed off. All right, I'm going to tally all this stuff up and see if we're missing anything. I'll be right back. Something I noticed when I was going through all these supplies is that it says, okay, three rolls of adhesive tape, surgical, use for minor cuts and clothing repair. Uh, 18 each bandage adhesive, minor cuts as required. Uh, bandage gauze compressed camouflage 3x6, cut in lengths as required for bandaging injuries. So it also tells you, okay, what's for big wound, what's for small wound, like the, the uh, blades, the razor blades, shaving hair and opening wounds as required. Um, big you know, big wounds, small wounds, it tells it what it is, and I think that, or what it's used for. I think that's super cool. Alright, I'm back. I've repacked everything together as close as I could get it, and it looks like we are missing only two things. Uh, two by two piece of gauze and one roll of tape. So it looks like, you know, maybe somebody needed to patch a little cut or something like that. Maybe it was lost along the way, but everything else is is perfectly in there and in really good condition. Um, but yeah, if you like this kind of thing, let me know. Yeah, if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe or like or whatever, all that stuff. And 
I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.